Hey guys, it's Dizoop here, and I just want to say thank you guys so much for 8,000 subscribers. The support recently has been crazy, so I really appreciate it guys, thanks. Anyways, what I'm going to be talking about in this video is confirm edit on release. If you don't know what it is, basically if you hold out an edit and you drag whatever edit you want, as soon as you release your mouse button or your right trigger, it would confirm the edit. So I switched to confirm on release for like 4 days, and... Basically, I would have to relearn all of my t edit timings, so I would have to change my timing from pressing my first edit button, dragging my edit, and then confirming with my other edit button. It would change to pressing my first edit button, uh, dragging down my edit, and then releasing my mouse button. On my poll, one of you guys said that you felt a delay when you just confirm on release, and in my experience, I didn't get any delay. It's just whenever I fucked up my timing, it like messes up the rest of my edits. The main reason why I try to switch to confirm our release is because uh, I use triple edit and I wanted to free up an extra slot for a keybind since I have three keybinds for just editing. And also I thought it would be faster since you had to do less inputs than double edit since you didn't even have to press the extra edit to confirm it. The reason I switched back from confirm our release to double edit is because my timing with double edit is already really good and with double edit you could confirm your edit while you're still holding down your mouse button. So. With confirm on release, if you're doing an edit, you would have to release it to confirm it. But with double edit, you can still confirm your edit while your mouse is held down. So I don't think the speed really increases, so that's the reason why I switched back. If you still use single edit because you're on controller or you just never switch to double edit, I think you should switch to confirm on release since you don't have to use an extra keybind slot. And it's really easy to learn because you're just using your same edit button, but you're just learning a new timing. The bad thing with single edit is if you're doing a quick edit, you would have to press your edit button down, do whatever edit you want to do. Lift up your finger and then press the edit down again. Uh, it's just not optimal since if you have double edit, you could uh, press both of your edit keys at the same time. So there's no delay between picking up your finger and then going back down to confirm the edit. There's hella examples of super fast editors that still use single bind. Uh, like Jimmy, he's a fucking weirdo, I don't know how he does it. And like Stretch, that still use single bind. But I feel like if they switch to confirm on release, like it wouldn't, it wouldn't be a hard switch. Cause they're not gonna have to learn a new, a whole new keybind. It's just like they would have to learn a new timing. Their edits would be like actually insane. One of the bad parts about confirm or release is if you're trying to hold an edit, you would have to uh, put your cursor on an already edited slot and just hold down to not confirm it, and then release it whenever you want to confirm the edit. There's very like small scenarios where you want to hold an edit like that, but it's still a downside to confirm or release. When I was trying out confirm on release and I was practicing it a lot, uh, when I was doing a lot of fast edits back to back, the amount of effort I had to put into it was really small. Like I was still doing them really good, it's just I didn't have to try as hard since I had two less inputs I have to do every time I try to edit uh, compared to if I was doing double edit. If you're doing multiple edits back to back, those two inputs adds up a lot. That's pretty much all I have to say about confirm on release. If you still use single edit and you want to get faster edits, consider using it or if you just don't like double edit. Anyways, that's pretty much it. Thanks again, guys, for 8,000 subscribers. I really appreciate it. If you want to join the community, make sure to join the Discord server. If you want to DM me, I got a Twitter and follow my Instagram. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching, guys.